Uh, today I'm going to be talking about our lovely little package we have to go see the great country of Japan. Today, Whoa. if we go in for today, we have our package kind of is at the beginning of June towards mid-June. Uh, you'll be looking at to see pretty nice weather. It's usually our average is about eight, 77 degrees where we'll be going in the uh, city of Tokyo. Um, but don't worry, you're used to Colorado's lovely warm weather where it's nice and dry. Just remember, Tokyo is an island, so it will be humid. So it might say 77, but you probably feel about 90 degrees. To move on from there, we'll always start with the big needy greedies, and that's cost. Just the average idea of what a plane ticket to Japan is going to cost you if you're flying by yourself, uh, nice fit, about fourteen eighty four with tax, you can see yourself would be about fifteen hundred. If you want to go with your significant other, you're looking into doubling that and coming to about three k. If you have a nice small family, you know, just a little wee one you want to take with you, you'll actually get a little bit less price per person, but you're still going to see a nice, lovely four k fat check. And then finally, if, if you want to go with a you have a large family, you want to take more than four people with you, you're going to see a nice discount of about $50, and you'll be only paying about $14.19. Now I'm going to pass on myself over to this over to my associate, and Matt, and he'll take it from there. I'm actually doing agenda, so the beer is going to be doing all the what you need to add. Uh, for sure, if you are a U.S. citizen, you get any passport, Verification, and uh, you need uh, for sure some immunization, and uh, and uh, now to uh, Matthew. All right, so we got some really cool things in store for our agenda. So on day one, you arrive in Tokyo. And then you have a meal at this place called Chu Ray. It's a great place to eat, and it's located right across the street from the hotel. And then so on day two, we're going to Tokyo National Museum. It gives you a great old overview of the Japan culture. It only costs about six bucks. And then you can get great meals at this place called Seis and Noyoke. And it's a great vegan-focused place that costs around $25. Day three, we go to Tokyo Disneyland, and so it's basically the same Disney you know and love, but it just has that Japan twist in it. There are plenty of places to eat. Um, they all range from around $10, and prices range from around $35 to $53. So day four, we'll be exploring Asakusa. Uh, it's a district in Tokyo. It's home to the famous... Um, It's home to a famous temple and shopping to keep you entertained. There's many food options, but we recommend the Asakusa Toriyoshi. So next up is the Shinjuku Jeon National Garden. It's a beautiful garden. It's a great place to walk around. There's you know ponds around. There's flowers. There's just lots of vegetation. It's very beautiful. Uh, there's a food hall in the park where there's many places to eat just like right across the street. Uh, it's free admission, which is really awesome. And then next up is uh, Meiji Jeng, Meiji Jeng Fu. Uh, it's a beautiful walk through a serene forest that leads to a beautiful temple. Uh, it's a must-see for anyone who visits Japan. Uh, we recommend that you eat at a Yoshinoya, but there are also plenty of options that you can find that are range around seven to eight bucks. And then day seven, we pack and prepare to fly home. Food of your choice. You kind of just get to hang out and rest for that day. Do what you want. And so this is our major cities table. Um, this just kind of gives you a little like brief index of what goes on in those cities. Like there's lots of recreation. Like in Kyoto, there's the kimono manufacturing. There's a big light industry. Go to Disneyland. Gives you the population. You can see they all have shopping districts. If you really like to spend money.
to uh, send and refer a friend if you have a friend you're gonna have like uh, <coughs> zero and you're gonna have 254.10 10 percent like uh, commission if you refer a friend and you're gonna have eight hundred eighty nine dollars forty two 